All right, guys, so I had to find out what that little s noise was, and it was opening this door, or it actually should be both doors, right? Yeah, both of these can open. Yeah, they're both a, a hidden room. Okay, yeah, so where we put the other bear, I didn't know, was the wrong spot, and we died because of it. Fair enough. Let's get Father Bear. And we appear we can't read the notes? Hold on. No. No. About the big stack of papers. No. Nope. Not even if I'm standing on top of them. Interesting. Uh, so all that's... Yeah, that's weird how we have to go all the way back here to this area, which... Like, bookcases aren't weird. You have to kind of stumble upon it accidentally. Hmm. Alright, let's go back. Did I do it? Okay. Alright, let's see what happens now. Uh, what was going on here? Nothing. Alright, let's just see what happens now. Okay, so far no death. What did that do? What did that accomplish? We already got what was in here. But there was a strange door, uh, up here. Maybe that's unlocked now? No. It doesn't appear to open. Oh, okay. Alright, we picked up a kitchen knife. Does that have to... Is that part of the puzzle, too? Do I have to cut one of these bears open? Alright. As, as long as I can't pick these bears up, that actually helps me know that it's in the right place. And again, will anything ever be in the barrels? Probably never. What? Oh, okay, I was supposed to stab one of the bears, at least. Okay. Hopefully we did that with a reason. Good. Ah, the lab key. Yeah, I had a weird feeling when we picked up the knife, like that I had to... <laughs> Excuse me, please. I had a feeling we had to cut one of the bears open. Uh, I, oh, I kind of wanted to look at it, but it was going to kill me. Okay, good. Progress. Progress is key. Uh, silver lab key. Must be for, yeah, the big silver door. Okay, there's an amount, uh, immense amount of chemicals inside of this glass tube. And that's a thing in there. Wait, what kind of fairy tale involves this? Uh, it's a blood stain on the ground. That's sounds like everything went great. We're not going to read nothing? No? There's still... We're looking monsters or whatever. Storage cabinet is locked. It won't open. What is that? Is that nothing? Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen very soon. <laughs> you can count on it. It's very good design how he has some... I feel like he has some uh, sounds happen when you touch a certain pixel on the ground. Alright, we got an empty flask, but I don't know what 
what it's for. Let's not touch anything. How about... Well, great. All of a sudden, the test lab machines went wrong and made the room engulfed with toxic gas. Oh, shit. Alice tried to get out as fast as she can, but she started to feel dizzy and weak. Go, 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 go. I feel like I can't touch those. No, Alice. Faster. Can I live this? I'm almost there. I'm holding down the run button. Oh. Somebody knew we were coming in there. And somebody wanted us dead. And I guess we're fine. We're just fine. Because we instantly got our, uh... Like, our, uh... Energy back. We don't feel weak at all. What's the flask for? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this is... It's for this. Somehow. No. It's gonna stay behind you. Is there something else? Stab her? Saying something different. Oh, wait a minute. Like this? I'm stabbing a statue. Is it? What just happened? Uh, someone's crying. And I'm in control. I did what you asked. Let's leave. What did I just accomplish? This game is weird. All right, let's let's make a new save file because, like I said, I don't even really know what I just did. I don't hear the sobbing anymore. I already read this. Hmm. Did something. I did a thing and I don't know what I did. Let's go back in that room. Wait a minute. Oh, now, hold on. Maybe now I could do this. Why am I doing this? What is it called now? Oh, it's a blood flask. What's the blood flasks do? Oh, it's so creepy. So creepy, and it's like... It's one of those games where, like, you have these puzzles and you don't quite know what to do with them, but you just kind of have to keep touching everything with every item, like a point-and-click adventure. What? Oh. Wait, I was supposed to pour blood... <sighs> this game is weird. Okay. Then what? Alright, that's Baby Bear. <laughs> okay. I'm not in control. Follow my eyes. 
squishy round eyes started to appear on the walls, guiding the young lady somewhere. Hopefully it's a place without toxic gas. But I'm highly... Okay, yeah, go. Yep. Alright. Let's not question it. <laughs> Seriously, we're here not of our own... <gasps> what is that? What fairy tale book is that from? Where? Okay. <laughs> Didn't know there was more coming from that side. You would think that the eyes would be... Like, alright, so there are good eyes and then there are bad eyes. Didn't expect that to happen at all. <laughs> alright, at least we know exactly where to go this time. But what is that? Like... Uh, anyway. That is bullshit. And then we go down and then left. I don't like it. Oh my god, now where? I don't see the eyes. We don't go there, apparently. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh. Wait, is this different? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. What in the world? Yeah, you probably want that. Alright, play it. Or not. Okay, what do you want? What do you want from me? Oh, maybe, uh, let me see. Uh, this? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Okay, apparently I'm in control. So the eyes have calmed down. I think. Oh, maybe we go here. Sorry, I can't speak that language. Alright! This looks really cool. Yeah, because I'm, 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 I have the whole map in my head, but I don't remember of a door of anywhere. But I found it eventually. Can I talk to the butterfly? No, it won't let me talk to the butterfly. So, what is this little red riding hood now? R riding hood? Red fairy book one. There's a green book and a red book. There was once a little peasant girl pretty as a star in its season her grandma was excessively fond of her she taught her many things and made her a little red riding hood which became the girl so extremely so extremely well and beautiful one day her mother having some custards said to her go my dear and see that thy grandmother does for i hear she has been very ill carry her a custard and this pot of butter butter oh left in her arrow keys Little Red Riding Hood set out immediately to go to her grandmother, who lived in another village. Uh, as she was going through the wood, the wood, she met with the wolf, with a wolf who had a very great mind to eat her up, and he dared not because of. S I'm sorry. Uh huh. Uh, that probably has another meaning. That I can't remember what that, because. I mean, doesn't it mean like a bundle of sticks? Anyway, uh, hard by the forest, he asked her with... <laughs> that threw me off. He asked her whither 
she, whether she was going, the poor child who did not know that it was dangerous to stay and hear a wolf talk, she said to her, where are you going? I am going to see my grandma and carry her a custard and a little pot of butter for my mama, from my mama. Does she live far off? Oh, eh, hey, answered Little Red Riding Hood. It is beyond that mill you see. Don't tell a stranger where she lives. At the first house in the village. Well, said the wolf, and I'll go and see her too. I'll go this way and you go that. And we shall see who will be there soonest. The wolf began to run as fast as he could, taking the nearest way. The wolf was not long before he got to the old woman's house. He opened the door and killed the old woman, dismembering her body and devouring parts of her corpse. And he wanted more. Oh shit. What is this? It's a signpost. Watch out for giant worms. Are you serious? <laughs> Woo! Is that the giant worm? Hold on a second. What else is out here? Oh, we have that. Let me, let's explore that real quick. Uh, I, just want, I just want to save again. So we're inside of a cathedral that has an outside. Like, inside, maybe? I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, I see that door. Hope it's just a small room so I can go back and be like, oh, there's nothing here. Oh, don't pick up the hammer. Why would you pick up the hammer? Oh, does it need a combination? Yes, it does. Zed. Nothing happened. Alright, so we have to come back for... with a passcode. Typical RPG horror uh, mechanic. What was it? Did I already f oh, I already found the second book. Alright, what happened in the story? It was the middle of winter. A snowdrop. Oh, when the broad flakes of snow were falling around, that the queen of a country many thousand miles off sat working at her window. The frame of the window was made uh, of fine black ebony. And she sat looking about upon the snow. She pricked her finger. Three drops of blood fell upon it. Uh, then she gazed thoughtfully upon the red drops that sprinkled the white snow. And said, Would that my little daughter may be as white as that snow, as red as that blood, and as black as this ebony wood frame? And so the little girl really did grow up. Her skin was as white as snow, her cheeks were rosy red as uh, rosy as the blood, and her hair was black as ebony, and she would be called Snowdrop. Cool. Hmm. I feel like there's a painting minigame. I still have the shovel. Hmm. Do I have to paint it with my own blood? I don't really want to think about that right now. Seems very creepy. But anyway, moving forward. Alright, watch out for the giant worms. Ooh, wait, no, there's another... Okay, wait a minute. Originally, when we tried to go through a place like that, the vines were too thick. Or maybe I thought they were too thick. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, God. Explore the perimeter. Watch your corners. Is that a limb? It's a chopped off arm. Take it with you. What the hell just happened? What's happening? What? <laughs> it teleported into a room I have not visited yet. I've solved part of a puzzle that I was not aware of. I'm standing on this grave. Okay. I don't like where this is going, where I have to collect pieces of a person. Oh, I can't interact with this. It's not my place, so cannot enter. Very polite little girl. Oh my god, 
What's... Oh, I see the... <gasps> it's Cerberus! Why is Cerberus here? I... Excuse me? That thing was way too fast. Do I have to struggle out of it? What? That thing was way too fast. Hmm. Okay. So here's what I think. I think <laughs> that was supposed to be a lesson. <laughs> that I need something to get past Cerberus. So for now, let's not go through that door. It's not important. And check out these other rooms. And look for... What the fuck is that? What? Oh, it's just a garden gnome. I think. There are many god and gnomes like it. It's dark and ugly. This is weird. I didn't expect this at all. I love these kind of games where I don't expect... This weird shit. A lot of weird effigies. <laughs> don't... I hate... I would never stand in, in something like this. Ever. But we have to examine it. Do I have to sta stand in a certain spot? Is one of them missing? It doesn't appear to be alluding to a spot I'm supposed to stand in. So fuck this area for now. <laughs> that is a room I know we'll have to go back to, but I don't want to go to. Hi. Alice wants to check the room, but she is too big to fit through the, uh, fit on the small door. Okay, so we literally need the very thing that shrinks us. Okay, I didn't mean to select it again. Did the picture change after that? Just, just wondering. Nope. Hmm. All right, now let's try to cross that bridge with the weird, weird worms. But first, before we do that. Let me just go in here and get that arm again. I'm definitely liking this uh, puzzle room, although I think this is the very last one of the game. Alright, so beware of the worms. Okay, I'm not sure what the bubbling is. <gasps> well, shit. I saw it. I don't want to... I don't want to touch it, it's gross and icky. Fuck. Anyway. Is that a thing? No. Okay. I thought it would, like, continually poke out or something. Alright, there's the arm. I have to find six pieces. I think. Do you guys have anything in here that could fight off a three-headed dog? Anything. A steak. It, it's weird, when it when I was in its jaw, it seemed like I could fight out of it, but to be realistic, even if we escape that, that's terrible. <laughs> We'd be in a bad way. So, I don't even think you can. Yeah, let's not stand in that. Okay, that chandelier did not drop on us. I was expecting it. Only one book has the title on it. The Rat Catcher. It's unreadable. This is weird. Brother and sister. And so and Gretel, right? Dapplegrim. These titles are weird. I, I don't know if they're all... Rapunzel. Okay, that's not uh, obscure. But we all know what that is. Okay, weird masks on the wall. It appears that only one is lit up. Five, six, seven. Uh... Six, seven. What? 
What do you have to say? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is staring at me. I picked off some leaves and had a hot drink with it. What am I supposed to get from drink? And this one, this was throwing me off. Five, six, seven. They lifted uh, up and combined uh, hair and washed uh, face with wine and water. But all was in vain for the little girl seemed quite dead. This is not a way to get a passcode. You know what? I bet what we need to fight off Cerberus is in the, uh, is in that thing. This is weird. I don't know what to... Those hints are so bad. Unless this thing is staring at something I need? I don't know. It's staring at something. Let's go... Oh, damn it. I was hoping I figured it out. Like it was past here, up against the wall. No. Damn it. Like I can't walk there for some reason. Okay, I took the knife out. What you got? Eyeball, eye, bleh, eyeballs were gouged out from the white, creepy mask on the wall. Oh, that was part of the... Okay. He gave me a weird look, so I did something about it? Don't. What? I'm sorry, but I need to know. Another word for pain? Fuck this. Oh! But I got no hints. Did I? I don't know. Damn. I'm gonna save real quick. I'm not sure what I got from that. 